Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games and part three of my Gloom Spike Gits Army Build Challenge. And the challenge is still on. This was a 30 day challenge that started on the 10th of March, but I had a few setbacks, caught the COVID, had some other things, and then I got carried away with my How to Play Warhammer 40,000 series. But the challenge is still on and I've got to get it completed by the 9th of April. So this Saturday will be the last day I'll be working on it and I should still get it all painted and based and ready to go. So I thought in this video, I'll just bring it back up to date so you know the progress I've made so far and exactly what's going to be happening for the rest of the challenge this week. So let's get started. We'll head over to the oh, that way to the table there and have a look at all the models and see the stage I've got to so far. So here we go. Here's the army all laid out and I've done some of the main colours on lots of the squigs and the different units so you can really see how like vibrant this is going to be. So this is all the base colours. I've also used the bright green which is the new speed paint from Army Painter. So I thought that'd be cool for a cartoony look for these guys. And I've gone for each unit of squigs, I've done a different color. And so we've gone from Volupus Pink and they're all contrast paints as well. So Volupus Pink, we've got the Griffhound Orange. There's two different types of red, so I've used those. Also the Pale Purple, a nice blue turquoise color. And this is one of my favourite colours. I think this looks so cool, this white. So now I've just got to go and tidy all these up, block in the teeth and everything. I'll do a little dry brushing as well, just to give them a very gentle highlight. But I'm only looking for tabletop ready standard. So yeah, I'm not going to go crazy here. One of my Patreons, Neil, asked if I was going to paint my Molog's mob. And so I'll do a paint video for that one. But I'm not going to do any paint videos for the rest of them. Because I think that's just going to stop me from getting this actually finished. So I want to focus on getting it finished in time and working on the rules. And I'll be doing a 10 part rule series. So as I do it each day, I'll put a few videos up and then one video at the end that has everything in one place, trying to keep it to under an hour, like I did with the Warhammer 40,000 rule set. And I've also picked up a copy of Slaves to Darkness a while back. So I'll be looking at how I can use my Warcry warbands and putting together a little army of those for Age of Sigma, because I think that'll be really fun too. I also saw these dice on Amazon for $4.99 and so you get these 16mm six sided dice, pack of 40 for $4.99 so I thought that is a decent price and these are really nice and colourful, bright dice that I think are really going to fit in with the vibrancy of the army so I think this is going to be fun to use. I didn't really like the Age of Sigmar dice that are available but I thought these are great for £5 you get a load of them and they're really good dice too so happy with those and I think that's going to work really well with the whole vibe of the army. Just to recap on the points, there's going to be 1155 points here altogether. I might do something with Zarbag Gits where I use some of them models as different ones and proxy them maybe for a fungoid shaman or something or a brewmaster, something like that. So yeah, I'm going to be working out some different points and different forces to put together. And then all the models you can see on the table there came to £185.50 retail, but with the discounts I got, I ended up paying £148.40 and then £5 for the dice. And I already had the paint. So for just over £150, got a nice looking army here. And this is the layout of it all. So these are all the models I've got. And then, yeah, good amount, I think. I think it's a nice, good variety, but I can't wait to get them finished painted. So this week's really going to be quite busy. I think I'm going to, as the week goes on, do more and more towards the end of the week. So Friday and Saturday will be a big push to finish the painting, then get them all based. So look out for that video either late Saturday night or early Sunday morning, where you'll see the army completed and ready to go. And then I can get started doing the rules and that rules series that I'm really looking forward to getting finished too. Thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated as the week progresses and I won't be doing any painting videos for the ones I've already started but I will be doing some painting videos for Molog so that you can see how that's put together because that was re requested in the comments by one of my Patreons so I'll definitely be doing that. Look forward to seeing you here for the next part of this challenge and then by the end of the week we'll have a nice Gloom Spike Gits army ready to go and then I'll start filming the rules for Warhammer Age of Signar. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible, and if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there, and I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>